Welcome to Rita's Retreat. I'm Paul, and this is part four of books that I need to read. And uh, it's going to be a long one, probably, but I'm trying to get this done. So, the first one is Wilkie Collins, The Woman in White. I've heard, I've never read anything by Wilkie Collins. And I can, and I am looking forward to reading this. One. Then I have the Turn of the Screw by Henry James. I never read anything by Henry James. And this is by Nancy Mill. Graven images, it yeah. Graven images. It's supposed to be a mystery, I believe. But it's going to be good. Uh, I'm hoping the anyway. This is by Melissa Scott, Dream Ships. So see, I told you, I do have sci-fi. And the next one is by Paul Therox, Murder in Mount Holly. It's a very small book. This would be good for a readathon. Then we have Richard Bachman's Blaze, and of course we all know Richard Bachman is Stephen King. Then we got Sarah Peresky. Peresky, I'm screwing up the name, people. So sorry. Total Recall. And we have Melissa Landers, Starflight, another sci-fi. And I will say, I'm not big on sci-fi, but I do read sci-fi. It just takes me longer to get to them than it does the, whole, the, the horror. Larry McMurdy, Bone, Boonslick. And let's see, we have... Um, Michelle Cries, Charmed. This is the sequel to uh, Hexed, and I still haven't found the first book. So I might go ahead and read that before I try to find the first book. Uh, Carolyn Haynes, Handbones is a cozy mystery. And that's what's good in the wintertime. You curl up with a blanket and a hot cup of coffee or hot chocolate and just enjoy a cozy mystery. This is all... This, I, I consider this a cozy mystery, mystery too. Uh, this is by Elliot Roosevelt. And it's Murder at Hob, Hobcob Barony. And it's... And and it's a Eleanor Roosevelt mystery. Uh, Elliot Roosevelt is the nephew of uh, Eleanor, and everybody knows Eleanor was the president's wife. Then we have Robin Hathaway, the doctor makes dollhouse call, another cozy mystery. I do have a lot of cozy mysteries. Um, then we got uh, Trudy, Trudy Nan Boints, Out of the Blues. Uh, and this is introducing Detective Sarah Holt. And for some reason, that name sounds so familiar, and I don't know why. I think there's someone that was on a, on a uh, TV show that was called, that was a detective called Sarah Holt. Uh, but I ain't sure. Uh, this is the Bloom House Book of Nightmares, The Haunted City by Jason Bloom. That would be good for Halloween, if you ask me. And this is The Captive Condition, Kevin P. Keaton. And this would probably be another great one for ha Halloween. It's more of a true life 
uh, abduction and how they and stuff like that. This is by F. Paul Wilson, and thing is, I never knew that he wrote this kind of stuff. I I always know F. Paul Wilson by as a horror novelist, but this is by the sword, and it's a repairman Jack novel. And uh, then we got Death Comes to Pemberley, a P.D. James book. Now. That name might sound familiar, that town, because uh, I think it's the Little Women or something like that. She uh, took the Little Women characters and stuff and put them in a murder mystery. Uh, this is Terry Brooks, The Dark Legacy of Shannara, Wards of Fairy. This is a uh, this is a true based on true story, uh, and it's it, it's called uh, it's called uh, Larry Jean Bell and the Twenty Eight Days of Terror that Shook South Carolina, Murder in the Midlands, and that will be another great one for a. Uh, Readathon, nice and short book. Uh, here's Larry Niven and Edward M. Lerner, and this is called uh, this is called Destroyer of Worlds, and it says before the before the discovery of Ringworld, so Ringworld was not discovered at the time of this book. Then, here's a uh, book called Andrew Wilson, I mean, wrote by Andrew Wilson, and it's a talent for murder, and it says, you, Mrs. Christie, are going to commit a murder, but before then, you are going to disappear. And I think it's about Agatha Christie. I think somebody wrote a book and put her as the main character. Then we have Nancy Grace's novel. Well, mystery, I should say, is a Haley Dean mystery called Death, Death on the D-List. Right there. Here is... Uh, Here's a bunch of writers. The Secret Society of Demolition Writers. Right there you go. We have P.T. Dederman, Centennials of Fire. This here is by John John Dunnan, book, book to Die is a mystery introducing Cliff J, Cliff Janeway, and it's a cozy mystery. It is a cozy mystery, I think, about a bookstore, and we all know that we like book that we like we all know that we like books about bookstores, and this is a uh, Christmas type book. It's a Andy Carpenter mystery, and, and it's by David Rose, Rosenthal. It's it's uh, the the author is David Rosenthal, Deck Deck the Hounds. And I'm sorry that my speech is getting messed up. This one here is Miranda James, Six Cats of Slain, and and. And, and both of those are cozy mysteries for the Christmas time. Uh, this is by Seth Graham Smith. This is The Last American Vampire. It is it is the sequel to Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter. Then we have Jennifer Gisbrot. 
mo the monster of Ellen Heaven, and I think I just destroyed her last name. And this one here is by Mike Napa, and it's called The Raven. This, this here is Tammy Hogg, Kill the Messenger. Here's another cozy mystery by John Hess. Roll over and play dead. This is by Tony Hayes. It's a Arthurian mystery, The Stolen Bride. This here is uh, by Isla Yacht, Patchwork, and I believe this is a cozy mystery. This is another cozy mystery. And it's a Benny Harper mystery for, it's by Farlene Fowler, Broken Dishes. Now this is another Christmas. And it's, uh, I believe it has more than one story in here. It has three stories in here. As by jo Joanne Fluke, Laura Levine, and Leslie Meyer. And it's Candy Cane Murder. And it is it, it is a Christmas cozy mystery. Here is the com the about the only comedy book I got. And this is called Get Her Done. It's, it's called Get It's called Get Her Done by Larry the Cable Guy. And now, now if you're around my age, you remember the TV series called Columbo. This is the Hoffa Connection by William Harrington. And I used to love Columbo. This is P.D. James. And it, it, there's six murderous tales in this called Sleep No More. And that would be a, another one for a, uh, a good one for, for, uh, a uh, readathon. Then we got Robert B. Parker backstory. Then we have Eugene Yelchin, Spy Runner. We have Lillian O'Donnell. A Gwen Ramage mystery, The Raggedy Man. Then, then we have Richard S. Wheeler, Flint's Honor. It's a western. And we have Peter Gottridge, The Devil's Moon. Now we're going to get into some mass markets here. We got Terry Brooks, Wizard at Large. We have The Iron Wolves by Andy Remick. And we have another Joanne Fluke. This is Winter Chill. We have Tony Hinnerman's The Skeleton Man, and then, uh, and that's a mystery, if anybody's wondering. <coughs> this is a uh, urban, like an urban fantasy, is a his, it's a historical romance. It's by Susan Ken Kennard, to tame a wolf. It's about werewolves, and that's about the only kind of love stories I'll read is if they're werewolves, vampires. Or something like that in it. Uh, this is by Rebecca York. 
and new moon it is a uh, sensation a sensation paranormal romantic suspense is what she writes then we have Rebecca York which is moon we have Anne Perry the White Chapel conspiracy We have we have Anne Perry, The Sins of the Wolf. These are mysteries. Now this now we're we're gonna go through some spider series. Uh, I'm not I'm not gonna put them in order, but I do have I think I got the full collection. And uh, it is by Jennifer Eastap, Web of Lies. There is uh, Jen Jennifer Eastap, Tangled Threads. I'm just going to start saying the, uh, this is Venom. These are all Janet Eastap's Sp Spider's Revenge. And this is by Jane Ann Critz, Witchcraft. And I know I got more, more books of that, of the uh, Spider series. This is two crafted A's for the alibi. I don't know if I want to read it because I did get rid of the rest of the series, and I thought I got rid of this one. Here's another Jennifer Eastap in the Spider series by a thread. This is Spider's Bite. I believe, I believe this is the first book. Uh, this is a cozy mystery. This is a cozy mystery, and it sounds good from what I hear other booktubers say. Because I was actually on a live that uh, they and they were talking about the series. This is by Lee Perry, a skeleton in the family. This is Jennifer Eastep again, Widow's Web. I think this is the last book in that, but I ain't going to swear to it. Uh, this is by Patricia Whitworth, The, Li the Listening Eye. It's a, a mystery. Uh, it's a Miss Silver mystery. So, this here is by Catherine Hall Page, The Body. The Body in the Cast. That's a cozy mystery. Uh, this here is Catherine Hall Page. The Body in the Bog. And then we have Catherine Hall Page again. The Body in the Big Apple. And this is uh, the series I'm reading right now, the Hollow series. This is Kim Harrison, The Undead Pool. And this is uh, by Adrian Phoenix, Black Dust Mambo, 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 something. And the last book is Kelly Gate. Kelly Gay, The Better Part of Darkness. This is this is the first book in the series and I thought the second book was the first book so I read the second book but this is here is actually the first book. And I want to say thank you all for uh, coming and watching this and uh, I hope you're enjoying the these uh, book tours that I've been taking you on. So until later you all have a good one and I'll be seeing you. Keep reading, keep your imagination going, and life will be better.